I tested every way to use Spotify Music in Final Cut Pro, and I came up empty-handed. I tried sketchy music converters, hacking downloaded songs, and recording my computer's audio, and none of them matter. I'll show you why you can't use Spotify Music in Final Cut Pro, but don't worry. I'll share four tips to make your music sound heavenly in Final Cut Pro. And at the end, I'll show you where you can get some free music to make your videos look and sound professional. The reason you can't use Spotify Music in Final Cut Pro is because you don't own the songs you're renting or borrowing them through Spotify. And so you can't download them and use them in your project. Even if you could download them and you're not allowed to use them in your videos because of Spotify's rules. Check this out, I'm in Spotify. And if I go to my profile here and I go to settings and I scroll down here to the bottom under storage, I can see where my offline storage location is. I can also change that location if I want by clicking on it and selecting a new spot, but I'll leave it as the default. And let's go to this spot here and let's see what there is. So I'll open up Finder and then I'll go, I'll click on Go and I'll hold down Option and then I'll click on Library and then I'll go into Application Support and I'm looking for Spotify. Here it is, I'll double click on that and then it says Persistent Cache and Storage. Here we go. And you can see there are just a ton of different folders in here. If we click on Date Modified, we can see when things were changed. So here's some files here. They're kind of small files, 20 kilobytes, a few kilobytes here and there. Ah, here's a song, 4.3 megabytes. This is a song, but it ends in .file. I'm gonna copy this file and then I'm gonna go to a folder on my desktop. All right, I'm gonna paste that file in here. And if I click on it, I can change the extension. Let's try MP3 and press enter. It asks, do you wanna use MP3 as the file extension? Yes. So I'll do that and now I'll click play and nothing happens. It does not play. Well, that didn't work. Let's try .wave. That's another popular audio format. This time I'll press spacebar to preview it and nothing happens. All right, okay, what about Apple's AAC? I'll press play and nothing happens. So this is a special file that Spotify controls. I won't be able to use it in Final Cut Pro unless I use one of these sketchy audio converters. So I searched Google and I found a few different websites like this. They all admit the same thing. You're paying for a streaming service. That means you don't own the song, so you can't use it. But we'll help you get around that. Now, I do not recommend you use these guys. Who knows what this software has in it as far as malicious you know, malware, viruses, and things like that. But basically they claim they can take one of your downloaded files and convert it into a format you can use like MP3, AAC, or WAVE, and so on. I wanted to point this out. I found two different ones. Check out this, Tune Cable and then NoteBurner. These websites look really similar, don't they? Anyway, what I think it is, is they're the same software, but with just a different name on there, trying to trick people into using it. Don't use this stuff. It's dangerous and it's illegal. Instead, use the music that comes with Final Cut Pro. Here I am in Final Cut Pro, and I'm gonna click on the audio browser up here in the upper left-hand corner, and then I'll click on sound effects. If I click on here on effects, then I can go to theme music, and I have a few options there of some built-in music. But if I go up here, I have even more options under jingles you'll see there is a ton of music that comes with Final Cut Pro. I can select a song and I can play it. I can skim and I can select in and out points. I can also search for a song. And all of these songs come with Final Cut Pro. They don't have any copyright on it. You don't have to pay to use them. They are built in and you can use them in your videos, no problem. I'll be the first to admit that they are kind of lame songs. They're old, outdated, and overused. So in a little bit, I'm gonna show you how to get new, fresh songs. But first, let's look at adding our own music that we might have on our computer. I'll click over here on music, and this will load up all the music I have on my computer or on my hard drive here. So you can see I have a ton of music. I grew up in the era of MP3s. I was in college when Napster was in its heyday. And so I have a ton of MP3s. And just like those jingles, I can go through and sort. I can play a song by clicking here. I can also double click on a song to play it. And just like before, I can select all of the song or just parts of it to add to my project. I can also use the search bar up here to find songs and then check them out. This is a band I was in called the Flowbots. Check them out. All right, I'm gonna go back to my library here and I have some music in here that I got from one of those websites I'm gonna show you in a little bit. And if I want to add it to my project, I have a few options. I can, of course, drag and drop it into my project like so, or I can select it and move my playhead to where I want to attach it and then press Q. And you can see it attached that song right here. I can also move my playhead to where I want to insert the song and press W and it will split the clip in two, like you can see here, and it will insert the song. I can also move my playhead where I want to overwrite it and press D. It will overwrite everything in the timeline with that song. And if I want to add it to the end of my video, I just press E. 
And you can do all of those right here with these buttons as well. This one connects it, this one inserts, this one appends the song or adds it to the end, and this one overwrites. Sometimes you might have a song that doesn't show up as music in Final Cut Pro. Select your music and open up the inspector by clicking on this button here. Go down here to the bottom and you can see you can change your roles. A lot of times my music will come in as dialogue like this. So all I have to do is click this arrow and I can select music to change the role and it will update that clip to be the color of music and it will also go in the music lanes when I'm ready to use it. I know it's a bummer you can't use Spotify music in Final Cut Pro, but don't worry, in a little bit, I'm gonna show you where you can get some free music. But first, let me know if this video has been helpful. If so, give it a thumbs up. Okay, I've got this action sequence here. Guy's running through the forest, but we have some nice action music to go with it. There are a few things I can do to quickly edit sound or music in the timeline. If you hover over one of the ends, you'll see this little symbol come up. It's a little circle, and if I hover over it, I'll get a left and right arrow, and I can click and drag on that, left and right, and I create this fade so the audio will fade in. I can also do it on the end as well for a fade out. Listen to this. So the music fades out quickly. I can also change the volume of my music right in the timeline. But first, I wanna make it bigger. So I'll click on this appearance button and let's make our audio bigger. There we go. And we'll make it a little taller. Perfect, this is way easier. Now I have this line right here and if I hover over it, I'll get an arrow up and down. I'll click on that and drag it up and down to adjust the volume. If I hold command while I do that, you'll see it changes at one decibel at a time. If I select my clip and then press control plus or minus, I can raise and lower the volume one decibel at a time. So I'll press control plus to increase the volume or control minus to reduce the volume. I love that keyboard shortcut. Here's another really handy tip for editing music. It's called cutting to the beat. I'm gonna select my clip and as I play back, I'm gonna press M to add markers on the beat where I want to edit or cut to. So I'll press spacebar to play. All right, now I have these markers in here and I can use those to quickly edit to the beat. So I have this young couple here and I'll drag and drop that to match up with my timing of my markers, and then I'll trim my clip to match up. And I'll just quickly add each of these clips here, and I'm and I'm quickly making an edit to the beat. And we'll add and one more. So now as I play this back, I have a nice, quick music video cut to the beat. A lot of times you're gonna have conflicting audio levels. You'll have somebody talking in your video with music in the background, and it's hard to hear. Check this out. Hey, this is Dylan, and this is the ABCHD file. I can't even hear myself, what the heck? So there's an awesome way to fix this. It's called audio ducking. I'll press R to bring up the range selection tool and I'll select the part of the music I want to be lower. I'll just click and drag to select that. And now I'll press control minus to reduce that music to a better level. And you can see that the music is louder here, but in the section I selected, it's quieter. Okay, we'll see we have a couple keyframes here. If I want, I can move these keyframes around and I can make a more smooth fade out or fade down to that level. So let's listen to that. The music will be loud and then it'll drop while I talk. Hey, this is Dylan and this is an AVCHD file and I'm gonna show you how to edit it in Final Cut Pro. That is so much better. I can hear myself talk, but the music's still in the background. Perfect. There's a few different places you can get free and fresh music. The first one is the Royalty Free Music, no copyright music channel on YouTube. And don't worry, I'll put a link to this in the description below. But if you go here to videos, you can see you have a ton of different music you can pick from. So let's try this one. I'll click on here. I can sample the song and check it out to see if I like it. And if I do like it, I'll click on show more and I'll go down here to where it says artist page to download. I'll click here on the link and it takes me to the SoundCloud. And here in the description, I have a free download link. So I'll click on that and now I can download this song. A lot of these will need you to connect to SoundCloud so that you can download them. Just enter your SoundCloud information and click sign in and connect and it will allow you to download them. There's another one called Vlog No Copyright. It's the same kind of setup, but different kind of music, and it's really focused on making vlogs and YouTube videos. The next is the built-in YouTube music library. Log into YouTube and go to the YouTube studio, and on the left-hand side here, click on Creator Music. In here, you can find a ton of music to use. You can buy music, or they even have free music. We'll click on View Tracks here, and it takes me to the audio library. And these are all tracks I can use for free. I can play them right here. I can skip into the song a little bit. I can favorite it and add it to my library. 
And I can also sort by genre and mood, whether it has vocals or it's just an instrumental. I can also sort how fast it is, how long the song is. And then when I go to my library, I'll see the one here that I favorited. I can download a preview of it, or I can click here and I can download the track. It'll download the track and I can use it in a video. And then it gives me instructions on what I need to do for a license. So it says I need to click on here to get a license. It's zero dollars to get the license but then I can just click here to download and it gives me the license and the song to use. So now when I use that song in a YouTube video and upload it to YouTube, they'll recognize that it's an authorized song and I won't get any copyright strikes. All right, last spot is called Ben Sound. I've used this one a lot. Great music and it's free. I'll put a link to it down below. You can preview songs and when you find one you like, you can just click free download and it says, okay, you can do this, but you have to tell people where you got it from. So you say, okay, I'm gonna download the music and I'm gonna get the attribution text. So I have to copy this text right here and then I have to put it in the video description on YouTube or wherever else I post it. And it says right here that this code is only valid for one video. So if I wanna use it in another video, I need to come and get another license. And if you follow these steps, you won't get any copyright claims. Thanks, Ben Sound. Now that you've got some music in your project, you're going to need to edit that music and edit those sounds. I put together 12 rules for editing sound in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.